Uh, now, they are the two unlikely cameramates who found a very close friendship on <coughs> the Celebrity five years ago. Take a look. Five years ago. Take a look. The celebrity was in a cheese string advert. Do you like cheese strings? I don't know what cheese strings is at all. Oh, you haven't lived. No. So you, it's like a plastic cheese and you peel them off so it's a cheesy string. So it's a cheese that looks like string. Cheese That's string. That's fantastic. Yeah. I love it. Shall I have a go with, with Vanessa? Yeah, go on. That's hey, it. That's well it. done! Yay! Yes! We have done. Well, what I want to say is, well done. <laughs> yes, well done. <laughs> and too. Tom and Stanley join us now to talk about the latest news from the camp. Uh, good morning to both of you. Good morning. Lovely to see you. I should say afternoon, actually. Oh, yeah. That's, Absolutely that's right. Yes. It's afternoon. Lovely to yes. see you both. We're um, here. I mean, it's all <laughs> kicking off in the jungle at the moment. Are you enjoying it, Stanley? Are you enjoying watching? I absolutely am. And I tell you, I watched last night. I think it was called Tentacles, Terror of Tentacles, mm. or something yeah. like that. Mm. I thought he was superb. I cannot believe that Matt Hancock got 11 stars. And time after time, he got himself down to the bottom of the... I can't even get to the bottom of a swimming pool. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you, I float up to the top. And then the, the <laughs> air hole got smaller, didn't it? It was... Oh. It was I, I don't think I could have done that. I'm going to be honest with you. I, can't, I can hold my breath for about 15 yeah, seconds. That guy must be yeah. in there thinking, I cannot let these people... Oh, like, yeah. like, he was, like, I've got to like, prove he myself did. so yeah. much. Well, he did. He did prove himself. If redemption comes through suffering, mm. he's on his way. Oh, I do agree with that. Do you think he mentally prepared before he went and just thought, I'm going to have to do everything, whatever comes my way, I'm just going to have to tackle it and deal with it? Certainly. I think, you know, out of every single campmate that probably has ever entered that jungle, Matt Hancock has more got more to prove. And I think we've really seen that. That trial last night that we all watched, I mean, there are so many factors that you don't think about as a viewer. For example, you know, the helmet, that adds on many inches. You're trying to breathe and get yeah. air in your lungs. You can't do it. I was really shocked at how brilliant he was last night. It was not He did well. Uh, good. What, what, about... do you, what do you think about him? I mean, Toph, has your stance softened? Last, last week God. you were... Incredibly, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say vitriolic, but you certainly, mm. you certainly weren't happy about him. Where you're scathing about him going in? What do you, what do you think now? Yeah, what I've tried to do this week is compartmentalise. So I've thought about Matt Hancock, the MP, who's abandoned his constituents. Fine, that's that. And then I look at a campmate who's just gone in into quite a tricky situation. And I think as a viewer, you will always feel uncomfortable with someone being sort of rejected and you can't help but feel a tiny bit sorry for him. But I really am being strong on this. There are two separate thought processes yeah. for me. Very mature. There's Matt who's, I'm trying, I'm really trying. <laughs> and there is the Matt who's going in there. And I think one thing that I've noticed about Matt Hancock is he's craving likability. And I think when you do behave like that in a camp setting, you can't help but sort of feel a little bit like, oh, got to give the, bad, the man a chance. Quite oblivious to Oh, I'm, I'm yeah. going to, I'm so going like, to what defend you... him. I don't think he's craving likability. I mean, guy, the guy is a likeable guy. I've, I've known him for a long time now. I'm actually very thrilled that he's in the jungle because it means one less vote for the Tory party to go ahead with this ludicrous plan to scrap all environmental legislation, you know, which is Rhys Mogg's plan, and, he, and he's lost <laughs> the whip, so he won't be able to vote for it. What if they so pair him up, though, Stan? Uh, on, the more, on the more important point, on the more important point, you know, Yes, he, he he had probably made a mistake, you know, in a going few. in. But but there he is. He's doing it, and he is going to earn his spurs on this one. I'm sure of that. Mm. Mm. I'm tending to agree with you a little bit. Well, but... he did say he messed up and he fessed up. Let's have yeah. a look at a little clip from last night when he actually talks about falling in love, and let's see what he had to say. It's no excuse, but I fell in love, right? Okay. And that is. Hard and the con and that also had a lot of other consequences, obviously. So, uh, you didn't just fell in love, you were grabbing booty, bro. Oh, give over. <laughs> you know, so that's been hard, but I obviously brought it on myself. So, um, yeah. So, so it's been tough. Yeah. So, are you um, still with the, the lady? With Gina, yeah, very much so, yeah. Uh, totally. In fact, that's that would be the best thing about being kicked out. Seeing her. Or going back. On, on the bridge. Yeah. It was all confessions, wasn't it? Stan, do you know what that uh, did meant? You, did you see Baba Tundi, what he said, Stan? Uh, yeah, I think I did say... Uh, do you not... know what he meant? You were about grabbing booty. <laughs> grabbing booty. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, the, I did not know what he meant. I thought he was maybe <laughs> maybe referring to Gina Lollabridge, was it? No, I don't think that's the surname, but yes, Gina. No, it was when he was grabbing her, you know, in the car. Well, <laughs> you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't want to get into details on this one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to get into detail, but... My feeling is that we've got to move on from that. We are now looking at how he is doing yes. in this jungle, and I, I think he's going to go from strength to strength. He's going to go... Well, he may follow you, Toph. You 
Toff came out top. I came out pretty much bottom. <laughs> he right? did not. not. So, Stan, do you actually think he could win this? I think he could. Do I you? absolutely think he could win it. I think he'll, he'll well, he'll, first he'll do a lot of trials, and that you've got to do trials, you know, to yeah. get... And he's going to do trials because the public is voting. And he's doing them well. And he's doing them well. I mean, I've been watching the odds checker, and he was dead set to go out first. He's now middle of the pack. Yeah. So what we're saying isn't an uncommon thought. Mm. I just he's love Baba Tunde. I just love the Me fact too. you've got Stanley to say grabbing booty. That's <laughs> 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 my highlight of the day. Uh, OK, so we've got these undercover moles winning the, uh, helping to win luxury items. Undercover moles could finally reveal themselves in order to help earn some luxury items. Matt and Sean were tasked with the secret missions as the undercover moles before so recruiting Jill Scott like and Scarlett Douglas. Yeah. Right. This was great, wasn't it? It's a big moment getting these luxury items. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. I mean, how practical do you go with luxury items? Because I, I, I'm, I'm just sort of a... Like, when people... I mean, I get it. I get the fact you might want a picture of your family, but I really want salt more. <laughs> my, <laughs> in there. my luxury item was totally practical because I went for a Lilo. Lilo meant you get away. Not that I didn't love my catmates, I did. But you, were, you there was a little piece of, of tree where you know if you sat underneath that tree, you lay on your lilo underneath that tree, you wouldn't be filmed. You could go to sleep even. You could Sam, put your hat, I've hat got over to your. Jump in. Darling, I remember you sitting on it and it popped. It's not that I, practical. I know it didn't <laughs> pop because I sat on it. It popped because it was near the fire. <laughs> oh, same. I mean, I went really practical. What'd you get off? Well, a big necessity, my fake tan. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the jungle. You, I mean, you wanted to look beautiful. I had my <laughs> so tonight we have this eating challenge. This is the we have oh, the exclusive clip here. So Matt Hancock's also, of course, going to take part in the trial tonight, <laughs> alongside Boy George. After being voted in by the public, take a look at this. Oh, Boji extrita, fermented plums. Okay. Doesn't now, sound too bad. Yeah. You've got to eat six. <clears throat> Oh, he's popping them in. One, two, three. He's not hanging around. Four. Hang on, something stopped him in his tracks. The taste. <laughs> <laughs> two more. Oh, tastes like perfume. Wow. It tastes like you've been poisoned. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. oh. Really? Disgusting. It's really disgusting. And I can eat anything. Oh, my goodness. Enjoy, oh. enjoy your lunch, everybody. <laughs> enjoy that your lunch. That escalated quickly. Uh, what are your uh, challenges like when eating? Oh, How bad? We did well, loads. I, re <laughs> I remember the witch did like, grub one. Yeah. Witch did grub was we, that? You and we I, did a head to head with the witch did grub. I think we, we had yeah. a race. That's Who it. could eat the most? I don't know how you <laughs> both did it, honestly. Thank, Thank you so, so much nice for joining us.